it creates this wonderful atmosphere that surrounds this beautiful Airbnb. So Eric, this is your family. Hi, Anne. Anna. Anna. And this is the rental that we're gonna have. And we're in Georgetown. Georgetown, Texas. This is an Airbnb that we built a water feature for a year ago. Yeah, about a year, year and a half ago. And we got the whole family, all the kids that are gonna be having a lot of fun. Let's check out another beautiful Aquascape ecosystem water feature. Sure. All right, so we are in Georgetown, Texas today. This is a beautiful Airbnb out here on the banks of the San Gabriel River, kind of a log cabin. It is really swanky in there, guys. Beautiful place. And uh, this whole porch overlooks this wonderful pond here. This one is built with a negative edge, so that adds quite a bit of sustainability to this. There's a thousand gallon reservoir under here, and the pond itself is about 20 feet long, and about 15 feet wide. Uh, it's about three feet deep, maybe a little over three feet deep. I did put jets in this too to kind of help push the water around. And I believe there is a, an adjustable flow pump, uh, five to nine powering this. It powers the Signature Series Biofalls up there and the jets. Some really big rocks we got to bring in here. And I love how this waterfall turned out. Yeah, pond's about three feet deep. You can see right to the bottom. Two huge fish caves. One big fish cave underneath the waterfall there. And then another one underneath the big flagstone there. So the fish can go in there and stay safe from Mr. Raccoon. But yeah, pond like this, similar dimensions in the negative edge. The uh, All the stonework and landscaping around is total investment of around forty five to $50,000, but it creates this wonderful atmosphere that surrounds this beautiful Airbnb. And everyone that stays here absolutely loves it. It's their favorite part about the whole thing. What's Sequoia's name? Da Vinci. And what was the story with Da Vinci? So somebody on Nextdoor reached out to us because I don't know why, but we had, I think we posted something about koi fish and so they connected well, with us. it was during us. the freeze and we couldn't get that's here. That's right, that's right. So, so we posted yeah. on Nextdoor to see if anybody could stop by yep. and yeah. check on our fish. Check out our fish, yeah. And so they reached out and said, hey, there's an abandoned house and there's a koi pond and there's, the a, and there's a koi fish that somebody needs to come and take because nobody's like tending to them at all. We went over there and it was like everything was overgrown. Mm -hmm. The pond was tiny. There was so much um, plant growth in the pond that there was literally like no maneuverability for any fish to swim in. And so we got him out, brought him over here and he has absolutely thrived. I think he's like, what, doubled in size? In like a year. He's a happy camper. He's happy. So you just took one koi from that pond? That's all that they had over there. Okay. Yeah. And we searched for about 30 to 45 minutes. So you went over there yourself and scooped them out, huh? Yes. We actually broke in. No, I don't think anybody knows. <laughs> yes, it was an abandoned house. That's cool. The bank took over. Why did you name this fish Da Vinci? Uh, is that Madison? Or not her. <laughs> oh, okay. Is she Da Vinci? She, I don't know. She picked the name Da Vinci. Oh, okay. Okay. That's cute. So she likes the water features too, though. Yes. So how did this whole journey happen? I mean, this is an Airbnb, a beautiful Airbnb. Thank you for letting us stay here. How did this whole journey with a water feature happen? Well, we bought this property a couple of years ago, stumbled across it, and we were like, oh, wow, this is a log cabin. Very unique. This would make a great Airbnb. And then we came over here to kind of, you know, thoroughly look over the property, and then we we're like, hey, it's got a koi pond too. That's both. Oh, there was a koi pond here. There yes. was, and it was not advertised. They didn't market it because it was poorly, poorly built. And we actually stumbled across the pond. We did not know that there was, that it existed here because it also was so overgrown. Mm -hmm. Our daughter's the one who found it. <laughs> so we were really excited. We thought that we were, it would be awesome to be pond owners. 
Well, we owned it for a while, a few months, and it was such a chore. Oh yeah, we had our hands all up in that pond, it. trying to do everything. We like drained it and cleaned it as best we could. It had leaks everywhere. everywhere. It had a skimmer that was completely, you know, failing, not installed correctly. It was, everything was like DIY. Yeah. And the original owner built this himself and you know you could kind of see that everywhere in the pond and we didn't know anything about ponds we never owned a pond and so we for us it was just normal. like hey this is a yes. this is a pond but the water was never clear you could hardly see the fish unless they swam to the top there was really no movement in the water it was just mostly a little bubblers yeah know, and that was it and we didn't really know what to do we had several different pond contractors come out and kind of look at it we interviewed everybody in austin uh-huh yes and then we landed on Eric with Stonebridge and uh, we really loved his vision of what this could be and we really trusted based on his work um, that he could really get the job done and I mean we literally just handed this over to him and said have at it we trust your artistry nice it's awesome and he did and that's great so compare and contrast the old pond versus the new pond in terms of <laughs> <laughs> just a laugh. It's really night and day. It really truly is. And I would have never known that as maintenance free as it is. I just, I did not know that that's really truly what pond ownership was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, you, it's you hit the nail on the head. The maintenance free stuff, it's low maintenance. Well, because you don't live here. This is an Airbnb rental. Yeah. And we don't want to have to be over here, you know, constantly doing stuff with it. So we opted to go with the negative edge feature. Yep. And we were thinking, hey, we've got all these oak trees that are surrounding it. And we don't want the leaves just kind of like falling in. We don't want to be fishing out leaves every every day. Yeah, and so we love that it just kind of, everything that kind of falls in and floats is just going to the end in the negative edge area and we can kind of collect that easily and clean it. So. And it's now kind of one of the selling aspects of the Airbnb. You cannot walk past it without really enjoying pausing. I mean, now you can see the fish. Right. Now we know, okay, this is not just a water hole. <laughs> and, and most of those fish that are in there are from the old pond. Yeah. Well, except for the fish. <laughs> Well, we got here last night. We just loved it at night with the lights. Where do you think you're going, young man? Over there? Are you jumping in? Yep. All right. Eric is the dude. I just want my rug bag, yes. She's like, oh, we love Eric. But, and I'm like, isn't he like the big Lebowski? He's like, yes, totally. That's Eric right I'm not, there. I'm not sure that's a compliment, Greg. <laughs>